Hey, what's up guys, and welcome to the Head Start Lab series, Volume 5, on music production. Now this is a free tutorial brought to you by the Recording Connection Audio Program, the only program that puts you inside a real studio where you learn from industry professionals on their equipment. In this video series, we're going to show you everything that you need to know about music production. And these tutorials were created from real tutoring sessions at the Recording Connection. So in addition to learning in a real studio, all of our students receive free unlimited tutoring while they're in the program. Now let's go ahead and begin. Hey, what's up guys, and welcome to your first look at Logic Pro X. Now this is, you know, pretty much the update that we've been waiting for, and they made some pretty cool improvements, and they changed the interface, and they moved some things around. So let's go ahead and explore all this. Now in future videos, what we're going to go ahead and do is we're going to talk more about these new features. Right now, we're just going to go ahead and take a, a quick look at what they've done. So uh, as you can tell, they moved the transport bar from the bottom to the top, and they're no longer calling it the transport bar. It's now called the LCD uh, bar right here. Uh, so, uh, you know, a lot of the options are pretty much the same. You can still uh, view, you know, different options here like beats and project, beats and time, beats, time, customize, and other uh, uh, viewing options right here. Let's go ahead and click out of that. Uh, so that's one of the first noticeable things. Obviously, the UI has changed a lot. Um, we have a different color scheme. It's a little bit, uh, you know, darker. It looks to me, it looks a little bit cleaner, a little bit more professional, uh, which uh, I do uh, enjoy the way this uh, scheme looks. Now, um, a few other things that you notice is that some things have actually moved around, uh, such as uh, you know the library, uh, the, the inspector bar, and some other options. Now that you even have a drop-down menu for the toolbar, and even some other things uh, that were I guess kind of in the background or now in the foreground, we have our uh, list editors, our notepad, uh, which we'd have to normally dig in and find, or your, your Apple loops or any of the loops that you put in there, and of course your media browser. So let's first go ahead and take a look at uh, this right here, which is our, our library. Now, the reason why this is all set up a little bit different is so that, well, as you can tell, you get a little bit more screen real estate like that. So you can view um, you know, your song uh, a little bit better in the arrangement. You can see your tracks coming along a little bit better, um, so, which is pretty nice. Let's go back to our library right here. And as you can see, um, we we have our library here, which used to be down over here. So not that big of a, of a difference right here. There are some new uh, sounds in our library, uh, thanks to the update, uh, but nothing too much uh, different on this end. Now let's go ahead and check out our inspector. Now, as you can tell, our channel strips have even changed a little bit. I think they look a little bit more professional. It kind of reminds me a little bit more of Pro Tools, uh, which is a, a nice change. Um, it, as you can see right here, there's some new options right here for MIDI instruments. Now we have uh, MIDI effects, uh, which will give us a whole bunch of uh, new, I guess, uh, effects for our MIDI, uh, things that we used to have to program in the environment window which was a little a little bit more tedious uh, a little hard to do uh, now it's pretty much a click of a button we got an arpeggiator chord trigger modifier and a little bit more down over here which we're of course going to talk about in, an, in another video uh, okay so now let's go ahead and uh, look a little bit closer at our at our channel strip options. As you can see, um, even these uh, options right here have, has changed. Before it would just show the instrument, you double click and then the instrument will pop up. Now you could turn on and off that instrument from there. You could do a single click to look at more information on that specific instrument. And you could even select a new instrument just by single uh, clicking and choosing an, a new instrument. So it's pretty nice. I, I like how it's very intuitive. And again, everything's really clean. Um, even if you look at this, uh, you know, the uh, the UI of this has changed a little bit. It looks a little bit cleaner. You have this big on off button that's a, uh, you know, really nice looking, nice uh, looking blue there. Um, and, uh, you know, this is gonna follow suit for all the other options right here on this track. So uh, that's pretty much the new and improved, uh, you know, inspector bar. Let's go ahead and uh, check out this. Now, this is actually our new toolbar, uh, which we're going to be able to uh, just, you know, quickly access by clicking this right here. And we have options to, uh, you know, change these controls like auto zoom, uh, split playhead. So if you don't have, I guess, your uh, key commands down, you could start using this. <clears throat> Uh, but it's much better to have key commands, of course. And you even have this right here, which is called Quick Help. So if you uh, turn that button on or instantiate it, uh, you can now hover over anything and it'll give you information, as you can see, down, down there, uh, which is pretty helpful. 
another improvement that they have, and this is also a new thing that they have here, is uh, this button right here, which is our smart controls. So let's go ahead and click that. And what it does is for every single instrument, it'll give you smart controls like macro controls that will effectively change that instrument sound in a very pleasant way. So it's everything was done very uh, in a very intelligent way where um, you, know, you can go ahead and control new options uh, that you would normally have to dig into the instrument and, and change these things. So these are gonna be uh, really, really handy. And of course you can even map these to a MIDI controller, which is really awesome. Now let's go ahead and go to our new and improved mixer. Again, this mixer is uh, really, really nice. Uh, I like the way that it's laid out. Um, it it kind of reminds me, like I was saying before, a little bit like Pro Tools, a little bit like Reason in a way. Uh, well, maybe not so much like Reason, but more like Pro Tools, uh, which is uh, really, really nice. And these, uh, these faders and these... Uh, you know the panning on everything just seems a little bit more sensitive too which uh which is very handy uh, let's go ahead and move over to uh right here our editors so this is going to be our our piano editor or if you're working with audio you're going to be able to see your audio right here so you can have a quick button to that nothing has really changed too much on the transport bar the lcd um now we have this option right over here this is going to be for of course our looping or cycling as they call it uh, if you are working with an audio instrument you can do uh, tuning now you can solo instruments you could do uh, count ins and then a few more options right here for click replace forward or you can even uh, do a control click and see what other options you can bring to this area which is really 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 handy let's go ahead and click out of that. Uh, next, what we have right here is our um, our list editor. So we can go ahead and click that and we can see all of our information on that specific track. And so nothing really changed there. We have our notepad. So uh, we can go ahead and uh, input information either for a specific track or for the overall project. As you can see right here, project or track. Right here, we have our Apple loops. So uh, not too much has changed. Uh, there has been a slight expansion of, uh, of new loops, so you might want to go ahead and check through that. Very nice. And of course, our media browser. So, uh, you know, of course, we're going to be able to see all of our media the same way that we were able to uh, do that in the past. So that's been a first look at Logic Pro X. Of course, there's going to be a lot more videos which are going to go over the new instruments and some of the new effects, especially the MIDI effects, which are really, really inter interesting. And we'll check that out in another video. I'll catch you guys a little bit later. Thanks for watching this video. And if you're watching this video and you're not currently enrolled to the Recording Connection, this is only a small taste of what you could be learning in our program. The Recording Connection provides all of our students with industry standard software, like Pro Tools, to take your engineering skills to the next level. We also provide books with excellent lesson plans, a professional studio engineer who will mentor you and show you how to operate real studio equipment, and so much more. With the Recording Connection, getting finances a breeze. We have many different tuition options, so getting hooked up at a studio near you is fast and easy. For more information, check out www.recordingconnection.com. And of course, I'll catch you guys on the next video.